Today marked the grand opening of a project in southeast Fort Wayne that's been nearly five years in the making there. Our Andy Newman made his way out to the big celebration. Anticipation has been growing for residents of Southeast Fort Wayne over the last five years, but McKinney Commons is finally celebrating its grand opening. A mound of old grass and dirt has been molded into a cornerstone to build community as Southeast Fort Wayne's newest park, McKinney Commons, held its grand opening. For Sharice Dixie, a resident for 50 years. This means the start of something new. I think it gives people a chance to imagine what can be. Um, this has been like a, just a strip of grass for forever. But to have these community meetings and to have someone say, hey, we can do something there, um, like why not? Why not was the exact question on City Councilwoman Sharon Tucker's mind for years while pushing the project. This specific project was one that many said that shouldn't happen or couldn't happen. And the fact that we were able to work against all odds and prove that it can happen and that people will enjoy this space is extremely important to not only myself, but to the community that I represent. And that community is thrilled about all the Commons offers. I'm really excited about this stage is the most important thing for me. I'm giving people a chance to express themselves through music and maybe spoken word, who knows? I think it's gonna be an opportunity for our young people to use their imaginations in this space, which really makes me excited. Whether you're going to swing on the swing or hear music from the band shell, it gives them an opportunity to experience a glimpse of what we experience downtown right here in their own home neighborhood. With the park finally open, Dixie would love for you to come out and see that neighborhood. I encourage folks to come on out and see what's happening in Southeast. Parson Rec is still exploring programming for the park and plans to release that information as soon as possible. For now, Andy Newman, 21 Alive News.